What is up guys? Perfect chance to make a new video here in a uh, online forum about HVAC. A guy was asking about what he expects to get paid to go into the commercial sector um, after having four years experience um, in residential. So no experience in commercial. And he was asking if asking for $40 an hour was too much. <laughs> yeah, he just got a bunch of laughs. So uh, I don't think some of these guys are quite, sh you know, sure what exactly goes on. It's different between commercial and residential. Sometimes commercial is just glorified residential units, 24 volt contactors, things like that. But then you could have lots of accounts like this one, which is using these awesome Linux energy units with humidatrol. I mean, you have an evaporator coil and you have a hot gas coil in front of the evaporator coil. And in case this case, you've got ultraviolet built in. I mean, this sucker's a Cadillac and it's direct drive electronic motors. So, but I am just figured out the problem on this one. This one, I mean, this is just something that would get by a lot of people and finally realize what's going on here because of this time of year. But this has a bunch of analog inputs to it. Of course, see, look at the 24 volts, nothing's hooked up because this is all on an EMS system on BACnet right here, communication. Goes to a computer down below, which they haven't been able to get in their computer for like <laughs> a week or two. So I've been diagnosing it just by getting the readings out of the unit, which luckily on a Linux Prodigy, you can. Um, so the damper likes to open to 100% right now, which is, and it's humid as hell because of monsoon weather. See, and the damper's opening up and it's <laughs> just bringing in even more humidity. So, these are zero to 10 volt DC inputs and I was getting like a really high voltage here at this indoor air quality input. That's what they call it on units. Economizers have that same input from CO2 detectors or whatever and that's to drive open the damper uh, if you get CO2, high CO2 and it proportionally opens up like the more parts per million you get. So I'm like, go down here and I know this isn't gonna read quite right. It's opening up, well it's still at minimum at 38. It'll open up. Outside air, oops, 87, return air 71, discharge air temp 57. I forget what that is, I think that's on the other one. IAQ, parts per million. It's going up, 1300, it's really only like 600. <laughs> and then if I go down here to humidity, it's actually reading nice and low. That what doesn't throw you off when you just look through here because you're like, well, maybe it's doing a good job at dehumidifying the room. But what I just found out is going on, and it's been like that since these units were installed, is that down uh, at the behind on the wall, and I'll, I'll try to take a picture and put it up on the screen now. There are three sensors. One is temperature on the left. The one in the middle is your humidity, and then the other one is CO2. And then see, like right here, it says. Uh, CO2, humidity, and then like this is your temperature one, stat. So uh, when I looked, I had an idea, and I went and looked down there a few minutes ago and pulled the sensors off the wall, and sure enough, the one that says humidity is hooked up to the CO2. So the CO2 is actually reading a nice low output because there's no occupancy in there, nobody's in there. So it's giving a nice low reading to the humidity, but then the indoor air quality one, which is come, is actually, it says CO2 here, is actually uh, going down to the humidistat since it's so high of humidity. It's driving up the co2 input <laughs> And then it just makes it worse. It just rent cranks open the the fresh air intake well, It's not just fresh air intake. It's an economizer So it actually closes off the return as it opens the fresh air and if it goes to 100% It completely closes off the return and you're trying to condition a hundred percent outside air Which is not gonna happen and it's gonna add a ton of humidity which is what he's been doing. So I'm gonna get my screwdriver in here and switch this, those two leads and I should go to normal there. But that's just, you know, something for example of, that you deal with that you never have had to experience just doing residential. All right, I just switched the wires and I relabeled them here. Now the reason I switched them up here instead of down below is because they went down the sheetrock and then came up through metal J boxes behind the uh, sensor. So there was no way to reach in and grab each other wire and switch them there. So switch them up here, relabel them here, the modifiers now there. Now look, the humidity is reading an artificially low 20 something percent in that space. It's reading correctly at 64 percent. Now let's go to the parts per million of the indoor air quality. 447. 
<laughs> Notice how it jumped from 13 something to that, because that was the last thing I remember. 447. So now the damper position is going to go to minimum. This one actually dropped down all the way to four. This one's going to be okay. This is going to, this is a freaking uh, room for. Oop, and the unit just went into dehumidification mode. Scared the crap out of me. So now my CO2 is reading what the CO2 meter is down there 2.2 volts DC. And now I'm going to read that high voltage over here on the humidifier. 3.6. It's actually dropping down already. It was like way up. This unit, when it reaches set point, it's then going to look at the humidity input versus the humidity set point. And if it's more humidity than the set point is, which it is right now, it's going to say, I'm not shutting off the compressor. I'm going to keep it running by turning on the reheat, which that loud sound we had heard, which is opening hot gas going through there. And now hot gas is going through that hot gas coil. That's after the evaporator to, to add a little load and keep, so you can keep the refrigeration going. Relative humidity, 64, 68%. So humidity is still way up there, way up there, but it's gonna to continue to run and bring that down.